So I thought it'd be fun if this week we brought Sam back into the office, back onto camera. Sam's had, what'd you get, like a two year break from it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. So if you guys saw some of the videos when I was sick, you may have seen Sam in the kitchen. Um, we couldn't find Burrito Math though. Burrito yes. Math is a long lost video. So today we're gonna be talking about when you're buying a house as a first time home buyer, or even if it's you know your second time buying, it's so important to get fully underwritten as I talk about all the time. But we're gonna talk with Sam today about, hey, what are the three things that make it so it takes forever, forever to get your pre-approval? Cause that happens sometimes. It does. You know, cause I'm always telling people on the phone, hey, fully underwritten pre-approval with an underwriter, probably about 10 business days. But once in a while, I'll look at a file and I'll look at the notes and I'll be like, my God, this was started like before the dawn of time. Like what happened? So Sam, what's the number one, and be candid, Sam's very sweet. What's the number one reason pre-approvals take forever to do? The absolutely number one reason that makes things take the longest is people just not being responsive uh, when we're trying to reach out. So we can't really do a lot on your file without checking in and verifying information. So even if you know, you're like, I've typed in all, like I put all this information in, in my application already, like we need to verify everything is correct just to make sure that everything is like picture perfect before we send it in. So we do need to chat with you about that and if we can't get a hold of you, we're stuck. Yeah, and that and that's something we hear is like, cause people will be like, well I filled out the application and I'm like, dude, you have no idea how many times these things come over wrong. Or you may be like, oh, well I put in my information to verify my Bank of America, but it just pulled your checking. It didn't pull your savings. So we're on the other side looking at it going, they have $3, whereas you may have $30,000. So Sam's always reaching out to verify with you the information. And sometimes people get annoyed with you, right? Sometimes. I mean, I get it. It's not super fun <laughs> to fill out a mortgage application. And then go through it yeah. <laughs> line by line. But the reason we're going through it line by line is because we're trying to make sure everything's accurate. Like, we literally had it in our systems way better now. But do you remember a couple of years ago where it doubled everyone's income? Oh, that was the worst. <laughs> that was so horrible. <laughs> so there's a reason we check. Okay, so number one, they ghost you on the initial conversation so you can't yeah. verify the information. Yeah, that's that's definitely the biggest one. Okay. Uh, and then what's the second reason pre-approvals take forever? Second would probably be documents. I mean, it's a similar, similar situation. Um, we need to make sure that everything is actually correct. And so, uh, if we reach out and we aren't able to get a hold of your documents, like that's going to put a hold on things as well. Yeah. And then another one you mentioned to me today where I was like, seriously, is this really happening? Was structuring. Oh yeah, that is so, a big one. When we're doing your application, you know, before we send it to Maria, and if you guys luck out and get Sam, you're getting Maria, who I talk about a lot, because Maria's like, I think she's the first processor that ever walked the earth. She knows it all, and she will yeah. get that done. Um, but we have to structure your file because we have to send it to Maria because Maria is not just going to like, I mean, she might, she might just make up a structure, but yeah. you may not like it. <laughs> so explain to them what structuring is and how that can cause a delay. Yeah. So structuring is basically what it sounds like. It's how we're going to set up your file um, for you to ultimately put in your offers. You know, are you going to put 5% down, 10% down, whatever it might be. Are you going VA or conventional? What's your game plan? So sometimes people are kind of in between what they want to do because there's pros and cons to everything, right? So having a game plan that you can chat with us about and kind of knowing what your preferences are so that we can talk about those is going to be big in making things move quickly. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing is we're here to talk about the pros and the cons, but sometimes, you know, what Sam will experience is they'll go, well... I really want to do 10%, but I only have 5% saved right now. So can you just wait a week? And it's like, really what we should be doing is just underwriting you at 5%. But if you tell us, hey, I want you to hold, hey, please wait, we follow your directions. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important to know like game plans and was there anything else beyond that? I mean, with the structuring, I feel like we can pretty easily tell them like this one makes sense or this one doesn't make sense. Yeah. 
a second home, I mean, one of the problems can be if they if you don't know how you're gonna live in the house, like that's definitely yeah, a that's success. Yeah, that's part too. If you're like, well, I might live there, but I might rent it out, but it might be a second home. We're stuck. Mm -hmm. We can't, and sometimes people are like, well, you're just supposed to pre-approve people for a loan. Those are three very different types of pre-approvals. So really important to know that. I think those are the big three. So yeah. ghosting, ghosting. <laughs> Uh, lots of ghosting, Sam. And, and Sam, just so that people understand that you're not calling once. And I, I think actually my team calls people too many times. They're way nicer than me. Um, how many times do you usually call an email before they get something saying, do you hate us? Well, three is my favorite number. Uh, so I feel like three is a good amount of time so that you guys don't feel like we're stalking you too much. Um, yeah. And I mean, the thing is, is so if you guys are working with a lender and you're like, you know, you get an email from like Sam or something and you're like, oh, I'm sick. I feel like crap. Just respond and be like, dude, I'm dying. We'll reach out. And then we'll put a note in the system that says, hey, they've been really sick. They're going to reach out. And then we won't be emailing and calling you being like, hey, it's us about your loan. It's us. If you're on vacation, tell us. If you're fighting with your partner, tell us. Like, we love putting that stuff in the notes because then we're like ready for the call. I'm like, ooh. Um, so I think that's it. I yeah. traumatized Sam. So I think this was helpful, hopefully for you guys. Um, questions as comments, as always, leave them on YouTube. I will do my best to get back with them. You can get on the calendar. Um, Alyssa is doing a ton of those calls, so is Julie. Um, and then when you are fully pre-approved with us, that's when you and I sit down for that 45 minute to hour phone call. Um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs>